how PayPal money build companies like SpaceX, Tesla, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook, the PayPal mafias. Did you know how PayPal influenced the emergence of the companies like SpaceX, Tesla, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube, and even who are the PayPal mafias? If you look at the stats and net worth of the companies we are talking about, you can see that most of the companies are far bigger than PayPal. As of 2022, Tesla has a net worth of 931.41 billion US dollars. SpaceX is worth 127 billion US dollars. LinkedIn is worth 26 billion US dollars and Facebook worth 527 billion US dollars. Compared to the companies, PayPal is currently worth 112.93 billion US dollars. It may sound hard to believe that PayPal worths much less than the other companies we are talking about, but here you cannot forget what happened in the past. The story takes us back during the time of 1998 when the e-commerce businesses were starting to emerge using the facilities of internet. Four persons named Peter Thiel, Matt Max Levchin, Ken Howery, and Luke Nosek was thinking about launching a new business that can make the payment gateway easier for the businesses to do online buying. The idea of the them wasn't new during that time, and there were other companies with the same business model. But thinking so, they decided to start it that will work as a payment platform for people who are buying products online. Here, the people were not yet that much technology dependent, and the PayPal owners had to think strategically for engaging customers and Luke Nosek came up with an idea. PayPal offered that anyone who opens PayPal accounts will get $10, and if they make one of their friend open PayPal account through his link, both of them will get $10 for each. The strategy kind of worked, and they started to grow. During that time, eBay was a key reason behind the growth of PayPal because all the customers of eBay started using PayPal as an easy payment gateway platform. However, PayPal was not the only player in the market. X.com was another company with similar business business model. You will get surprised to know that Elon Musk was the owner of this company. Elon Musk offered the same strategy and announced that X.com will give $20 for opening an account. To ensure sustainability in such competitive environment, PayPal had to follow the same approach. They started giving $20 to the new clients. Here, a concerning issue for both of the companies was they were giving away a huge amount of money for customer acquisition. In the business world, customer acquisition is a very common method of building customer relationship. But the way PayPal and X.com started giving away free money, it could lead the companies towards bankruptcy. They really needed to think for the future of their company and doing so the founders of the two companies arranged a meeting. The aim of that meeting was to find way to solve the situation and to bring sustainability in business. The owners of PayPal proposed Elon Musk to sell X.com to them. It will merge the two companies and ensure that only PayPal is dominating the market. Initially, Elon Musk was not convinced enough with the proposal and he denied it, but eventually he agreed and this way the company named Dex.com got vanished. Through getting rid of the competitor, PayPal started to grow and engaged a lot of new customers. Elon Musk had his stake in PayPal as per the deal and later he became the CEO of PayPal, including Elon Musk. PayPal had some other board members as well who were the owners of the company, you will know them soon. Although the company name was PayPal, Elon Musk still had a soft corner for his previous company and he used to impose the X.com type of working culture in PayPal as well. It was more or less disgusting for the board and employees of PayPal. Their problem became even bigger when Elon Musk suggested to change the name PayPal with X.com. The board of PayPal conducted a survey to understand what the customers prefer and the customers reviews said that X.com was more like a porn website name. No questions asked. Elon Musk got fired, and he was even asked to not come to the office anymore, but he had his share in the company and he was getting profits as well. Now it comes to the most interesting part, as the customer acquisition had costed a lot and the return on investment was a slow process. PayPal decided to join the stock market and become a public company to raise funds through IPO. But before that, one last thing the owners were thinking is selling out the company during that time PayPal had around 200 million subscribers. They approached few companies and eBay proposed a deal of 400 million US dollars for PayPal. 
The owners of PayPal got offended through the offer as the price was too low, so they decided to launch in stock market. However, few days before that, eBay approached again with a deal of 1.5 billion US dollars for PayPal, and after a few bargaining, the deal was made. The owners of PayPal took their cuts out of that 1.5 billion dollars. This brings us to the PayPal Mafia who converted this 1.5 billion to more than 1.5 trillion US dollars in just 20 years. Max created a company named Slide that invented the theme of pop-up ads during videos. Peter invested his money in an infant startup of during that time named Facebook. Hoffman thought about people's living and qualifications and he created LinkedIn as a different social media for work enthusiasts. Elon Musk launched SpaceX and Tesla with that money. Jawad Karim and remaining to board members of PayPal started YouTube, which are the biggest companies of the current era, and that's how the PayPal mafias are currently ruling the tech industry.